Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good for this week's reading. I'm going to first start by pulling some tarot cards and then I also have psychic tarot. We're going to uh, see what messages are coming through for the collective, okay? As always, with every reading, take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go. So let's get right into the reading. Hope you all are doing good, okay? So we have one card. The fool, but it came out in the reverse. I'm gonna keep it like that. So let's see what spirit wants to show the collective. Okay, I was seeing the temperance card as I was um, shuffling. Okay, but let's see if it comes up. Spirit, what needs to come through for the collective? Pull out six cards. Okay, so you know, right off the bat, as I'm just kind of just looking at the cards, I feel like there is a decision that you need need to make, and. Either you feel stuck or you're refusing to make that decision, okay? With the fool in reverse, this is all about taking that leap of faith in a new direction. It's, you know what I'm also feeling? It's like you, you're ready for the next level. With the queen of cups here, you've healed yourself. You've healed your emotions. You've evolved. She has these stars in her hair and it's like seashells and things like that, right? And we see these koi fish around her, which I see as a symbol of luck and prosperity, okay? So spirit is guiding you in a new direction. In a new direction where you have to take a leap of faith in that direction. That's what I'm getting. But with the full reverse and the two of swords, like you're, you're kind of... I feel like you're overthinking something really that's what i'm feeling and because you you are overthinking because we have the nine of swords as well okay it's like progress is coming in but it feels slow for some this is about uh related to your money uh or job or career situation and you want this new start i think you what I'm getting is you're doing all the right things, okay? Whether this has to do with your self-healing journey or, you know, with the Queen of Cups, it's like my eyes keep drawing to this, okay? You're, you're doing your self-healing. You're doing uh, whatever you need to do uh, for your self-development, okay? There could be a situation from the past that you are unable to resolve. Actually, I never saw this. I'm just seeing a heart here now. I never saw this before. I always saw this figure here, but I'm seeing a heart. And you know, to me, because I never, I've seen this card so many times and I never saw this heart in it. It's like, you're healing your heart. You are healing from all the past wounds, from all the past, whatever was causing you distress, you're healing from it. But there could be certain situations that you can't seem to forgive or you can't seem to move past, okay? That's another thing that's coming through. You are very loving. Whether you're what a sign or not, doesn't matter. You could have water in your chart, okay? But you are a very loving person. You're very compassionate. I feel a lot of people do see you as that. Most people don't even know about your struggles. Most people don't even know. It's like these demons from the past. They don't even know what your what your trials have been, what challenges you face. They don't know anything about that. Okay, it's like you kept working on yourself. The bear spirit could be significant. Okay, I I really like the bear spirit. 
and to me it talks about strength and protection and perseverance okay and bears hibernate through the winter it's like you have the tenacity you have the inner strength to go through all this and yet show up as the queen of cups okay with the fool reverse and the and the three of swords i also feel like you've been through so much of heartbreak and pain and trauma and things like that but still you show up as this compassionate loving person a lot of people would not know that you have gone through so much okay they they do not know about that like some of you may have sleep troubles especially with this we see you know she's in her room and this figure and you know I don't know like you may need to clear out the clutter that's what I'm getting if you have like clothes or stuff hanging just you know all over the place clear out the stuff sage your room okay and uh, air it out is another thing that I'm hearing for some it's like there could be a mother figure this could be your mother with whom you do not have a good relationship and you may have always wanted this your mother or this mother figure to be in your corner but i feel like whoever this individual is that person may have really stressed you out or caused a lot of anxiety for you starfish could be important to you or significant in some way or the star i'm seeing stars starfish in her hair and i'm also seeing uh you know the pentagram here so these symbols could be significant sorry for the noises in the background i'm also cooking while i'm while i'm trying to make this video so i apologize um For some, I, I, I'm getting, if this is about a money situation, it doesn't have to be about a job, okay? This could just be you're waiting on some money or you're waiting on, you may have invested in something and you want the return and it's not coming to you. It's really, things are slow. That could stress you out, especially if you've put certain investments and it's like you're waiting for the return or you're waiting for uh, these benefits to come in, but it's just been, it, it feels like a constant delay is what I'm getting. For some of you, I want to say like, you are so, you're so capable. You really are so, so capable. You may have grown up in a household where you were not appreciated or you may have been surrounded by people who never appreciated your worth. And, you know, they, it's like every situation, every person that came into your life, it, they just kind of, I feel like they downplayed your abilities or they, they kind of made you feel like you're not that important you're not that significant whether this was love situations for some this is heavy love love situations where lovers caused you so much pain okay you you are such a giver and it's like no matter how much you gave 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 it was never enough for these individuals i, I feel like these people the fool rivers the um three of swords and the queen of cups they kind of never valued you they never valued you they never saw your worth they never appreciated you they may have made you feel like you're so not worth it but the, but the truth is you are and some of you are healing from whatever trauma was caused by these lovers are these I, I just pick on love interests okay and for some it, it doesn't have to be just romantic it could be in relationships where you know your love was taken for granted or whatever you were it's like 
I just feel like if I were to say this in a nutshell, it's like you were, you just got tired of giving, 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 giving with the Queen of Cups and her cup. It's like you're giving, giving, whether it's your love, whether it's your attention, whether it's your time, okay? Your resources, your energy. You just gave to people, situations, things that did not value you. Okay, that did not value the core essence of who you are. And for some of you, you're, you're healing yourself, you're coming out of it. And, and with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like, you're whatever, like things may be slow, but whatever decisions or moves you're making, you're building on a more solid foundation that you're building your life you build you're building your stability on a more solid foundation for some there you've been guided by spirit to do something and there is a lot of fear okay there is a lot of fear around that you're you think you're not capable you you think you can do it or you may have your you know, you're too focused on your shortcomings. That's what I want to say. You're, you're too focused on your insecurities. You're focused on what can go wrong rather than what's going right or what can go right for you. I'm picking on a lot of Piscean energy in this reading, okay? You could be a Pisces. There is a sense of whatever I'm dreaming, like you may be, have been a person who, you know, has this wild imagination growing up and you had all these dreams and more wishes and you feel like there's always some person, some situation, something coming in your way. But I do feel as I'm looking at the spread that no matter what you've gone through, it's like you're always healing your heart. You're always healing yourself. You're always healing. And spirit wants you, it's like to clear away because even in this heartbreak, there is a heart here, okay? There is love. There is love. And what I'm getting is you are learning to value yourself. You are learning to see your own worth and understand that when you see your own worth, the world sees your worth as well, right? As within, so without, right? Something like that. So I'm, I'm getting this energy that you're learning lessons when it comes to self-love, you're learning lessons when it comes to releasing fears and blocks that have held you back time and time again from making certain decisions making certain moves and it's like fears just blocked your path with the full reverse and the nine of swords it's like you're you're just you get in your head you overthink things and it becomes a big roadblock for you and you know, one more thing, it's interesting that sometimes when I'm doing readings, I notice things that I do not notice. Even if I'm seeing this card for the hundredth time, I do not notice those details. And all of a sudden, those details will pop up when I'm doing readings. So I never saw this. It's almost like there is a figure here. I don't know if you guys can see, there is a figure here. And this figure seems like, you know, like a puppet here, like a puppet. Now, for some, someone was mistreating you with the puppet analogy. It, it, you know what I want to say is, they, they wanted to give you the role of a fool in their, in their life. Like they allotted the role of a fool. They wanted to make a fool out of you. I don't know why I'm getting this. But I feel like you are this, you are a queen and someone wanted to give you the role of a fool. 
they wanted to manipulate you they wanted to have you like a puppet on strings but with this in reverse i i feel like you may have cut cords to that to those people or those situations it did cause you grief you may still be uh you know from time and again because this feels like a ghost from the past you may still get nightmares about this i don't know uh, who i'm talking to but it feels like you may get nightmares or just get up in the middle of the night i really feel like if this part of the reading resonates with you you may need a clearing okay do get a clearing done for yourself from a healer or a shaman or basically get you know I, I have palo santo here uh and i find this really very helpful okay uh for just clearing my aura clearing the room clearing my energy i would highly recommend it especially if you do not have this so you know kind of cleanse your room cleanse your space with palo santo i feel things have been slow for you and that's very disturbing you may have had certain expectations in terms of what you want for yourself or where you want to see yourself and you feel that's not happening as well and that may have been disappointing yeah again the two of coins there is a decision you're going back and forth on it it's causing you a lot of stress and um I, I want to just pull some more on this okay what can you do about this see there is this fear okay so i'm going to show you the cards that came we have the eight of coins we have the eight of wands and we have the five of cups you you have this fear that if you're gonna make any moves it's gonna it's gonna cause distress it's gonna be it's just not good. like i said you're focused on something just not working out or fo focus on on the past you could be focused on the past okay you could be focused heavily on the things that went wrong like with these two cards i'm getting and you may be seeing eight 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 and eight is a number of abundance i also see eight as a number of goddess which i said you're a queen you're a goddess right so spirit wants you to know that whatever whatever you're working on your hard work is gonna pay up okay you you are going to get the rewards you need to stop fearing. You need to stop worrying. You, there's too much regrets of the past, okay? I, I just can't uh, dodge this, okay? I'm, I'm seeing this for what it is. It's you, You're regretting something very heavily. And that's, that's kind of blocking your path, okay? It's You need to shift from this energy or maybe you need to start looking at life from a different perspective. And, uh, you know, the, the thing that changed for me is I, I believe that we all have soul contracts with individuals, okay? And sometimes life is not perfect and things are not always going to go the way you want them to go, right? And instead of regretting things, I just take look at them as life lessons. Life lessons learned, right? And when you see, look at individuals, situations as life lessons learned and then move forward i also feel with these two cards it's like you are changing your akashics because i heard akashic records okay you are changing something in your records you see how this uh, fellow is writing here it's like there is something heavy from the past that you have to release you have to let go of it okay it's going to once you let it go if this new beginning is coming for you this new beginning is your destiny this is meant to be but you're blocking this by focusing on something from the past and for each individual it's going to be different because a lot of people are watching this video right so you will know what this is but you need to you need to not be on this crossroads because I keep 
the, the you know the card of being stuck <clears throat> excuse me the the card of being stuck the card of being focusing on the past regrets hurts and spirit wants you to know that you are breaking certain contracts you are you are rewriting your story with this you are rewriting your story don't allow anyone to bring you back in this energy if you have people in your life trying to get you into this energy spirit spirit wants you to see your own worth and value okay it's almost like look in the mirror see who you are okay and i'm hearing rihanna's shine bright like a diamond right that song's popping up so you are a diamond know your own worth and know your own value wow i can't make this up guys and what am i trapped in fear the eight of swords the same cards just the same cards repeating so the cards that i pull from the psychic tarot are passion ignited which is the ace of wands and new beginning then we have six um six of swords moving on moving on okay and then again movement choices decisions guys i mean no matter which deck i use it's kind of giving me the same storyline there you have options you have choices there is something that is dragging you down you see this this man is moving away from darkness into the light okay spirit is guiding you to a new chapter you do have a new beginning stop blocking yourself stop doubting yourself okay you are on this new journey you're you're gonna have choices you're gonna have decisions to make and yes sometimes choices are not easy to make i understand that and because of those choices you may be trapped in fear you may be overthinking things okay but spirit wants you to leave the past behind the past is done with the past is over you're moving to your next chapter which is all about this following your heart following your passions following your truth okay and this is gonna make give you the happiness the completion that you have been seeking the completion that you want for yourself is not outside of yourself it is within it all starts from within okay so i hope this reading has helped you thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon Bye.